What is going on, y'all? Hey, since we've been staying on this canal, I got the idea to take some PVC pipe and make essentially some limb lines or just PVC pipe fishing poles. And this is kind of what I came up with. I started out with picking up some cheap three quarter inch PVC pipe for two or three bucks a pop. And I went ahead and got some mono, just whatever I had laying around and I made this happen. Happen to have some cheap 30 pound mono laying around. Let's start out with that. I'm gonna end up putting a heavy weight on the bottom and maybe a couple of hooks going up and down the line. Because the mono is so heavy, I'm gonna go ahead and slide these hooks on the line and then just do an overhand knot. It kinda ends up being like a dropper loop but the hook is directly on the line. I tie a little knot in the middle of the dropper loop, that way it, um, it just kind of keeps it straight out. On the bottom of the main line here, I did a loop, surgeon's loop, to make a dropper loop so I can loop in my weight. So I just drilled a hole in the PVC to tie the mono to. I ended up having problems with that down the road and you'll see and I'll show you how I fixed the problem. Fortunately for me the ground along the canal is super soft so I'm just able to kind of just jab the PVC pole in at the angle that I'd like to have it. I want the PVC to reach out over the canal enough to put the line out over the water but be high enough to where the fish has some kind of a bounce to play against. This was a total afterthought, but I figured if I'm gonna be hanging hard heads and stuff constantly, I better have a swivel on there so they don't just spin the line all up. So let's bring it in, make a cut, and attach this swivel. Can't live without that line cutters when it comes to rigging, folks. By the way, that's the ceramic blade zipper pull. All right, let's sit back down, grab the line cutters, and make another one, a matching one for the second PVC rod. So what should we use for some bait on these guys to get us started? I know just the thing, fish bites. This stuff is amazing. It's great for black drum. Caught plenty of red drum, and I've even caught some specks on it. The shrimp flavored fish bite is my favorite. It's got some kind of a mesh stuff in it. It stays on the hook longer than just about anything. By the way, that's a three ounce lead sinker I just threw out. It helps keep things straight and organized. Here I just remembered that I had some live baits in my live bucket. Let's take out a shrimp and put it on with the fish bites and see what happens. While we're letting the PVC pipes soak in the canal, let's go run the crab traps, maybe bait them up, check them, maybe even throw the cast nets some more. All 
Ah, looks like we got something first cast. Anytime I catch these medium to larger mullet, I like to cut them in half and put them in the crab traps. But finger mullet and small croaker like this, they go in the live bait bucket. They're going on the PVC rods. Well, here's the first contestant. A little hardhead. I figured I'd be hanging some of them. That's why I gotta swivel. Come on, man. It came right off. I didn't have to touch these guys. I'm hoping that some of these more prime baits, like this little croaker here, will get a bigger bite from a bigger game fish. Hit the jackpot. Got shad, croaker. That's what I'm talking about. Jellyfish too. Some of the biggest trophy trout are caught on croaker. And redfish love gold for a reason. I think they love croaker too. Let's see what this guy will do. Meanwhile, I'll take some of these mullet that we've caught, cut them in half, and fill up those crab traps so we can make some sweet, delectable crab meat. Wow, just chunked the cast net and got enough live bait to last all evening. Heck yeah. Finger mullet for days. That's some beautiful baits, those are perfect. I can keep one or two dozen finger mullet croaker alive in this Plano bucket for a week or two. Oh my gosh, the white rod's doing that with that. Big bait, big bait. Oh yeah, we got something on here, guys. Oh, oh yeah, redfish. Plus on rouge, man. <laughs> P the PVC rod strikes. Looks like the combination of fish bites and a croaker did the trick. <laughs> All right, he's not a keeper, but he's in the realm of what we're looking for, right? Let's let this little guy go and see if we can catch some more game eating species. I'm going to go watch some TV, but I'll keep an eye on the PVC in case they go off. Fish on, fish on. It's a big one. Oh, it's a big red. Come on, pull. Camera fogged over from being in the AC. Sorry. Oh, that's a big red. Lots of time out. <laughs> Holy smoke, that's a big red. I gotta tire him out. I'm about to tire him out. Look how big. My PVC pipe fishing pole paid off. It worked. This is pretty cool because I'm able to keep tension on. We got 30 pound mono. I don't want to get him in too quick, but I could probably get him now. Might be able to handline him in. Yeah, I can handline him. <sighs> Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's a keeper. Son. Oh yeah. Live mullet, I think we had on that one. I'll check the footage, but that had to be live mullet. <laughs> that guy is gonna be a keeper. He sure is. PPC rod strikes again! Looking for a room. 22! We eating his booty. <laughs> this 
to put him in the. We'll put him in the fridge. We're gonna eat him soon. I'll oh, be quiet. I put the fillets in water and stick them in the fridge. That way. Oh. That way tomorrow it'll be bled out. It'll be ready to rock. I mean, I can keep it in there for two or three days, just depending on when I want to eat the redfish without freezing it. It'll still be fresh. I just had another break off. Oh my gosh. Took the whole thing, dudes. All right, folks, we got a problem. When a big red or something gets on there, the PVC is cutting the line, even though it's 30 and 40. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a leader, a string leader, with a swivel. Now this can come in contact with the PVC and not get cut. At least that's the idea. Let's get this rope on there to keep that PVC from cutting the mono. I've got the gavinator coming over. We're gonna throw the cast net and try to run some crab traps. Ah, we got a keeper. Yeah, we got one. We got, we got one. two. Yeah. It's always fun to go back to being a kid and just playing in the ditch, the canal, the lake, the pond. Just keep it simple and have a good time. Whole family can enjoy it. Let's see if the gavinator remembers how to throw a cast net. Hey, not too shabby, Gavinator. Now we got plenty of bait to bait those crab traps, maybe even a few small ones for the PVC poles. Well, what do you know? I think the PVC pipe fishing poles were a success. Give it a shot if you can. If you've ever done anything similar, be sure to comment below and let me know what you're doing. Or if you have any ideas for me, let me know below. Till next time, y'all have some fun on the water. We'll catch you. What?